symbiotic relationship is one in which at least one species benefits from the other. It could be a positive, negative or neutral relationship. Mutualism, commensalism and parasitism are the three basic types of symbiosis. Mutualism is a symbiotic relationship that benefits both parties. The goby fish and the almost blind shrimp spend the majority of their time together. Both the shrimp and the fish live in a burrow in the sand. When a predator approaches, the fish alerts the shrimp by touching it with its tail. The fish and the shrimp will then return to their burrows until the predator has passed. The shrimp receives a notice of impending danger as a result of their relationship. The fish is provided with a safe haven, as well as a place to lay its eggs. Another great example is bees and flowers. Bees collect nectar from flowers and transform it into food. The bees collect pollen on their hairy bodies when they land in a flower, and when they land in the next flower, some of the pollen from the previous rubs off. This is pollinating the plant. So the bees get to eat, and the flowering plants get to reproduce. A symbiotic relationship in which one species profits while the other is unaffected is known as commensalism. So one species may benefit from shelter or food, or maybe even movement from one location to another, or support from the host species. The other species is usually used for something other than food. For example, tree frogs use plants as protection, and golden jackals will trail a tiger to feed on the remains of its kill. Hermit crabs live in the shells of dead snails, and mites bind themselves to larger flying insects. The disc on the heads of remora fish allows them to attach to larger predators such as sharks, whales, manta rays, so when the larger animal eats, the remora detaches itself from the larger animal to consume the extra food. It's believed that wolves followed human hunters to eat remains of carcasses, so the relationship became mutualistic. Humans began to benefit from the relationship, gaining defence from other predators, and humans also took advantage of the wolves' tracking skills. As the relationship changed, so did the characteristics of dogs. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species profits, the parasite, while the other, the host, will suffer. So some parasites, they'll reside on the host's surface, others, they'll make their home within the host. They can get into the body in a number of ways, sometimes through the skin, maybe food or water, Roundworms lay a large number of eggs, which are released into the environment through the host species. By swallowing the eggs in polluted food or water, others can then become affected. While some parasites destroy their hosts, the vast majority do not. If a parasite destroys its hosts, it's possible that the parasite will then die as well. The host can also develop ways of getting rid of or protecting themselves from parasites. Some hosts will build a symbiotic relationship with another organism that helps to get rid of the parasite. Ladybugs live on plants, eating the aphids and benefiting by getting food, while the plant benefits by being rid of the aphids. To summarise, mutualism is a symbiotic relationship in which both species benefit. Commensalism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species benefits, while the other species is not affected. Parasitism is a symbiotic relationship in which one species, the parasite, benefits, while the other species, the host, is harmed.